This video is for educational purposes only. In the somber realm of criminal justice, where tragedy and courtroom drama often intertwine, the case of Malaysia Booker stands out as a painful chapter that unfolded in the heart of Texas. This video delves into the intricacies of the case, exploring the events leading up to Booker's untimely death and the subsequent legal proceedings that sought justice for her and others affected. On a fateful day in 2019, the life of 23-year-old transgender woman Malaysia Booker took a dark turn. A resident of Texas, Kendra LeVar Lyles, aged 37, recently entered a guilty plea in connection to Booker's shooting death. Booker had previously made national headlines just a month before her tragic demise when she became the victim of a brutal assault in an apartment complex parking lot. The catalyst for the heinous attack was an earlier incident where Booker was accused of backing into a car owned by one of the assailants. The situation escalated when a group of men, allegedly including the owner of the damaged car, pursued Booker. In a disturbing turn of events, she found herself on the ground, desperately trying to fend off blows as the men mercilessly punched and kicked her. The brutality of the assault was captured on video and quickly went viral, shining a harsh spotlight on the vulnerability of transgender individuals in society. In the aftermath of this horrific incident, 29-year-old Edward Thomas, initially accused of aggravated assault, was found guilty of misdemeanor assault in connection to Booker's attack. However, this conviction did little to assuage the pain inflicted upon Booker and her family. The scars of that day ran deep, and justice remained elusive. Tragically, the narrative took an even darker turn on May 18, 2019, when authorities in northeastern Dallas responded to a report of gunfire on Valley Glen Drive. The victim, later identified as Malaysia Booker, had fallen prey to a fatal shooting. Strikingly, she had no identification on her at the time of her death, further complicating the task of identifying her assailant. The investigation into Booker's death took a significant leap on June 5, 2019, with the apprehension of Kendra LeVar Lyles. The 37-year-old Texan was taken into custody not only in connection to Booker's tragic demise, but also for the deaths of two additional women. The revelation of additional victims sent shockwaves through the community, highlighting the gravity of the crimes Lyles was accused of committing. As legal proceedings unfolded, the gravity of Lyles' actions came to the forefront. Found guilty of the charges, he now faces a sentence of 48 years in prison. The verdict, while a semblance of justice, did little to alleviate the anguish felt by Malaysia Booker's family. Their profound grief was articulated in their disappointment, acknowledging that no court decision could ever bring Booker back. The realization that she was gone forever was a heavy burden to bear, but they found solace in the belief that justice had been served. With Lyles behind bars, they hoped he could no longer inflict pain and suffering on other families. This tragic saga serves as a poignant reminder of the vulnerability faced by marginalized communities, particularly transgender individuals. It prompts a broader conversation about the need for societal change, awareness, and inclusivity. As the legal system grapples with cases that highlight the darkest aspects of human behavior, it is crucial to recognize the importance of education and empathy in fostering a more compassionate and just society.